Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something super exciting. I'm going to do uh, shape building in Photoshop. So I have got this reference image. This is Phoenix Rising, super awesome game. If you want to pick it up, it's really nice. The UI is, is incredible. It's very impressive. I love it. It's, uh, it's, it's really good. It's really good. It has got a really good flavor. It's, uh, it's beautiful. So it has got a lot of very interesting shapes. And I was thinking that would be an interesting kind of task uh, to, to recreate some of it at one point, maybe all of it. And this would be a great chance for me to show what uh, Photoshop shape building is capable of. Normally, I think Illustrator would be the go to, but I'm going to show you that in Photoshop, uh, you could do very, very cool stuff as well. So my, you, don't, you might not need to go to Illustrator. It's up to you. But let me show you what I was doing. So what we're going to work on is this quest tracker hard element here in the corner. And I'm going to um, I'm going to try up, 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 there we go. So uh, I actually done uh, a practice work. Uh, this is my shape here, what I build. Um, but I'm going to go through all the things I've done. Uh, so you can, you can, you can follow along if you like. Um, some, uh, so what I like to do is using these elements here. So we got the shape, of course, and we have got the selection tool, direct selection tool and the path selection tool, and also the pen tool here. But let's start with the shape. We're going to go with the square. So I'm going to press, uh, just click on the screen and then it'll bring up the create rectangle panel. Uh, I like to use this so it'll give you a very precise, uh, 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 you know, size. So what I want to do is let's go 512 long and then the height is going to be uh, two pixel height. Oh no, sorry. Uh, is it two pixel? Let me, it doesn't sound right. No, it's four. Anyway. Okay, so that, no, that doesn't seem right. Anyway, I go back and try again and press like this, okay. So that should be fine. Let's go with this for now. Um, it's, uh, I don't think it's enough, but the idea is basically here, you can always change it uh, and then you can do it on the transform panel or um, you can go into like the, the shape um, tool here and then you can change it. It's up to you really, it, it, it will do the same things. So if I want to change here, for example, from two pixel to three pixel, you can always just unlink them, the, the width and the height, and then just go and just change it. Uh, let's say like this, that, that seems better. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. So after this, uh, I just want to kind of show you a couple of things here. So you can press A to enter the, uh, this is basically the direct selection tool. And inside here, you see the path selection tool as well. So you can cycle, cycle through these if you hold shift a so shift a will basically change these in between these two which is pretty cool uh, i never know which one i'm using i'm just always like oh if it's not one then the other one so i just go shift a shift a all the time but anyway i'm going to go and uh, use my mouse and then just select this little corner here okay so this what it does it will just select this uh, anchor point here and i'll just bring it in with three pixel, you know, and then I'll go to the other side and then just do the same. Just select this little uh, anchor point, bring it in three pixel, done. That's cool. Now what we want to do is this cut out here. So, oops, I'm going to press V and bring it down a little bit so I'll have more space. So the way I like to do it is basically go to the shape tool here uh, and then just basically uh, create a rectangle. So what do I want? I think it's about 20 pixel by 20 pixel. I'll just create that and press OK. Now I can turn this or rotate it, holding down Shift key, uh, and then there we go. So I have got this shape here, which I'm very happy with. I'm just going to press Enter, Shift A, and just Shift A again, and then just move it down a tiny bit. There we go, something, something like this. Okay, cool. So the 
it's very interesting how and, and and it's really incredible really how Photoshop is 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 a very powerful with this shape building because now I can just basically literally use my mouse select this shape hold down the option key and then just create a duplication of this uh, shape so now we have two but if you go up here you can manipulate it so what I want is to cut out from this shape so if you go up here and said subtract front shape then it will do that for you it will subtract it which is really nice and what is even better if you now go down to the uh, the line shape underneath you select both of them holding down shift you click on it you can basically merge them and when it will be merged this shape the top one which I had it as a cutout will cut out that shape from the line as well just have a look so merge these shapes and it will cut it out for you which is really cool and then you can also go back and manipulate this so I still have got this shape selected and I can just literally use my arrow key going up down uh, left right so you can play with this shape it's not final yet and, and I think that's pretty cool you know and uh, if you're done with the shape you all you have to do is basically just uh, 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 select the, the shape layer and then go up here and merge the shapes and then it will all, all be merged for you but I like to just keep it uh, like this for now because I'm not sure if I'm not going to be need to I don't know move it a little bit around but what we're missing here is this diamond shape here so let's add that so I'm going back to my rectangle tool and then you could literally just hold on shift and it'll, you see this little arrow appears next to your uh, cursor that shows that basically you're going to add to the shape and I'll just click on the screen and then I can precisely tell how big is the shape I want. I'll go with 8 by 8 pixel. Once that's done, I'm going to be able to rotate it. So you can go like this or you can hold down the shift and it will give you the really good uh, precise angles. Oops, oops. I'm going to go back like this, press A, and then you can still move this shape. So I'm going to kind of have it here. And maybe that is too big, but that's, that, that's, that's not final. So you can go back, uh, hold on Command T, and then uh, place the anchor point you want to basically have the uh, transformation from. And then here I'm going to go and be like, oh, sorry. I need to, uh, so what I need is, I need to use the, um, the link here. And there we go. So I'm just going to decrease the size. And this is something I'm happy with. And there we go, we got that shape now, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think it's too big, but it's okay for now. Uh, uh, it's just going to be better for you at the moment just to see what's happening. So we got this shape here. Uh, if I say you can you can and select it in oops like this, you can see all the things that's happening. So now what I want to do is create this shape underneath. So I could just literally oh very okay. Let me, let me just do something first and then I'll show you something really cool. So you can duplicate this layer holding down option key, drag another one down, and then with the uh, with the uh, direct selection tool, you can just literally move it down. Let's say how far you want to move down. I want to move it now about this far, which is great. And from here, uh, the first thing I want to do is just change the the height of this line here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag one corner out. Uh, as you can see, it just selects both here. So in that case, I'm going to press Shift A just to change to the uh, path selection tool. Uh, oh, not path selection, sorry, the direct selection tool. And then just bring it up. Uh, you can also hold down the Shift and then go to the other side and then select the other anchor point and then bring one up pixel, um, bring one pixel up like that. So that's fine. Now, what I want, I'm going to need uh, a larger kind of cutout here. So I can basically select both of these shapes, press Shift A. Oops, no, just like this. Mm, sorry. 
like that one and then two I don't like that I think I still have this shape here selected no I don't want that okay let's go back and see yeah I want this shape and that shape okay let me see so if I basically press command T there we go and then press the anchor point to the I think I think better to do it on the top and then I'm just going to increase the size it will nicely bring it out for me like that so this is this is something I'm happy with okay great um, and then I'll go back to my uh, shape here and um, I'm going to basically do the same command T and pre press the anchor point to the bottom and then just increase the size again so I can go up like this perfect and and just leave it like this so another thing I can do is basically just cut out another shape which I don't need here like I, I'm, I'm going to basically cut out these corners here you could also do the same what I was doing earlier to have one of these like this is a cutout you see I'm, I'm going to move it around so I can hold down on the option key and mult uh, multiple this cutout uh, shape, which is, this is how it works. I move it down like that. And when I let the mouse go, it will cut that shape out for you. Now you have that shape there, which is pretty cool. You can still go back and play with this uh, if you want. Like for example, I could uh, just manipulate this shape here by pressing A. Uh, shift a sorry and then just bring it up like this because i think i like i prefer this here this cut out here and then on the top here of course you can do the same i would just basically press command t uh use the bottom anchor point and just move it up one pixel two pixel maybe doesn't really matter just want to get rid of that line i had there and now this is what we look like okay so I have a tiny bit of uh, misalignment here, which I can get rid of with, with the rectangle tool, holding down the option key, and then just drag out uh, another rectangle, which is going to be removed from the shape. Uh, at the moment, I have a bunch of kind of shape going on, but that's fine. And what I wanted to show you, which is really cool, I think, is that you can manipulate both uh, shapes, even though they are on two different layers at the same time. So, for example, if I want to manipulate this end here, I could select both layers with the shift key and then I drag out my selection and I can just bring the both, both two layers in and out, up and down the way you want it really. This is really cool, I think. And I just wanted to show you that you can do that. Uh, another cool thing you can do with shapes, for example, we have this diamond here, okay? We have this diamond shape here. You can basically select a, a side. For example, now I'm going to drag out this side here. I mean, you don't even have to do that because you can do any corner here. You can literally hold down on one side and then just pull it out and it will just align to the, to the pixels like that. So you can do that. It's really, really, really smart. I'm going to undo this for now though. Just wanted to show you that you can do that. So what I want to do at this point, uh, I still want to continue and finish up with this corner here. Uh, this kind of like uh, little flourish kind of element here, what I can do. And at that point, I think I'm kind of ready with this shape. So just to get rid of all these annoying lines, I'm going to basically merge my shapes. The way to do that, you have this layer selected, go up here and then just go merge shape component. There we go. And then you get rid of all those things. Downside, you cannot go back and edit it anymore. So uh, you can always undo, make a copy, hide it, call it uh, spare, and then just go back and, and continue where you left off. And when you're 100% sure you don't want it, you go back and just delete, clean up these layers here. Yeah. Uh, talking about cleaning up I like to make my layer so this is like uh, it doesn't really matter because it, at the end I'm going to merge it all together so I'm just going to call it a uh, uh, decor decor line there we go and this is decor uh, line two there we go 
anyway so we were here let's finish up with this uh, section here so what i'm going to do i have this selected i can add another um, rectangle to it so i'm just going to hold down on shift key until my plus symbol or icon will appear next to my uh, cursor so i do another one which is going to be another eight by eight pixel let's say it might be too big it is too big uh, but we can always go back uh, common t and just change it from eight to let's say six i think six should be fine let's go with six for now i'm going to rotate it like that and i'm going to use uh, shift a just to kind of like take it to the place where i needed it to be um, at the moment i'm just going to leave it like this because i'm going to adjust these sides what i want to do really is separate it for now and then just work on that uh, cutout we have so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to my shape press k and then just kind of um, create another copy of this so i'm going to create this copy here like that and then i'm going to go back and just select subtract so once that's done i'm going to be able to do command t and select the bottom corner here and i'm just going to kind of like decrease the size um so something like that is fine there we go and now i'm going to do uh, yes so now i'm going to you because i still have it selected i'm going to hold down on the uh, option key and then just drag a copy like this up here okay um yeah actually i'm going to move it somewhere like here up here yeah like this yeah like this i like it like this that's great um so what i want to actually do i don't really need this bit here so i can basically select this side here and just start pulling it up that's fine like that and now i have this shape here and i select the whole shape and just start moving it up here there we go okay so i don't like that to there so first i'm going to merge this and then move it up there there we go and then from here i'm going to basically select this corner here shift a there we go and then just kind of like going to make it like uh, oh, work I'm going to make it work i'm going to select this point and just kind of yeah actually i'm going to set this point and just bring it down here that's great okay um not very happy with it to be honest let's see what we can do about it uh, how does this look okay we can still kind of go and play with this okay yeah i kind of like this wonky shape Oops, I just wanted to move this here. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So once we have that here and we're happy with it, you can always basically just uh, select the whole shape. There we go. Actually, I don't really need the other side. I just need this side because it's already done. Oops, sorry like that no not like that shift a there we go there we go nah. i always have to change in between uh, uh, path selection and direct selection tool so now that i have that i can just literally uh, make a copy of this so one way to do it is you can just make create another layer and uh, um, mirror it horizontally or you can just basically uh, hold down the option key make a copy and then command t uh, select a corner this one here and then i'll go flip it horizontally and then just bring it in there we go and once we have that i still have um, this corner here which is way longer than i need so i can just select that corner shift a select that corner and just bring it in nicely there we go there we go okay so so this is nice i like that and then the other side as well i'm just going to bring it in about 10 pixel okay here we go oops that actually moved there we go that didn't work 
like uh, shift a there we go now it's gonna be okay ten percent nice yeah so once this is done i'm going to have a little bit of uh, drop shadow here so i'll just go into the drop shadow and apply uh, a two pixel sized um uh, drop shadow so what i do it's very subtle it's just 20 percent opacity the distance is zero and then i'll increase the spread up to uh, 100 and then just have two pixel sized uh, uh, shadow i mean you could use a stroke as well it's a, it's the same thing it's uh, yeah so this is what we've done with this shape and just wanted to kind of give you a couple of ideas of how how easily you can use this shape building and uh, i love it uh it is fairly rare that i would go into illustrator i could and um, um just sometimes i just think it's it's easier to stay in photoshop and finish my uh, uh, uh shape here uh, instead of going to illustrator and then coming back to photoshop at the end so I might as well just stay here and uh, most of the time I can create the shapes I need. So it's very rare when I have got such a complex shape that I really have to go into Illustrator. Um, so yeah, this is the, the design I wanted to show you. I hope you like this and uh, we can go into more details about this. We could, uh, we could probably recreate this screen here. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment sections and um, Actually, I wanted to show, I think, I think the first one was, yeah, this was closer to what I imagined. Oops. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty nice, I think. Uh, and I forgot to kind of uh, merge these all together. There we go. Spare one now. We can delete it. And uh, this one is a tick of one. There we go. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section what would you like to see next. I, I'm planning to do some more hard work. If there's something you're interested in, uh, leave, a, leave a comment and um, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye.